Ready to flip your teaching traditions upside down? Introducing the flipped classroom technique, a blended teaching technique where the students study the lessons at home on an individual level and execute them on exercises and projects in class on a group level, where the educator guides students as they apply concepts and engage creatively in the subject matter. It's pretty simple and very beneficial as it provides equal learning opportunities for the students to apply and analyze concepts and therefore enrich the conversation in class rather than the teacher lecturing and the students taking notes. Here are four simple steps of how traditional flipped classroom teaching can become remote flipped classroom teaching. Before anything, let's be prepared. We will divide this phase into four steps to make things easier and clearer. First, the teachers research and gather as much pedagogical resources related to the topic they want to teach. The material can be videos, articles, blogs, website links, photos, parts of a chapter, or any resource related to the topic as long as they're accessible and up to date. Then, the teachers film themselves giving a lecture related to the topic explaining the lesson. This can be in the form of a 15-minute video divided into smaller 10-15-minute to 15 minute edits that tackle one to two specific objectives each, while using visual aids like PowerPoint presentation or video. These films should be as entertaining as they are informative, so teachers are advised to use PowerPoint, photos, experience, small videos, and other visual support. After these steps, a quiz or worksheet should be prepared to guide students in exploring the resources during asynchronous learning, as in when they are doing the exercises on an individual level without the teacher's presence. These digitized quizzes should be simple and target low-level competencies in Bloom's taxonomy, which are remember and understand. The last part of the preparation phase is where the teacher prepares an activity for the return session in order to help the student groups analyze, dive deeper into the subject during the synchronous session, which will be online. The worksheet targets high-level competencies in Bloom's taxonomy, which are apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. Ready, set, online go with the first step of the remote flipped classroom. Online Go is where both teacher and student are present online. This is called synchronic learning. The teacher initiates by introducing the subject and the problem to motivate the students to start thinking of solutions. Basically, begin with the end. He or she explains the process and the necessary steps to be followed to complete the task and then gives them an access to the prepared material, the video of the lesson that they had recorded. Remember that? We talked about it and the documents, the visual aids, the short edits, and of course the quiz to be completed after the students explore these resources. Which brings us to the second step of the remote flipped classroom teaching, the individual work that highlights the personal efforts of the students where they explore the resources and complete the quiz at their own pace, which can be done via Microsoft or Google Forms. This personal phase allows students to test their research skills and challenge themselves to learn on their own. Of course, with the help of the resources provided, relying on clear instructions from the teacher and having the lessons and objectives at an arm's reach. After the individual work gets completed, the teacher assigns the return to the virtual classroom, which is step three in the process. This is where the teachers divide the classroom into subgroups on the platform being used. A guided worksheet is handed out and the experience turns into a synchronous teaching one to practice the high level competencies, which are apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. While the students are solving exercises, discussing the subject, preparing presentations, and drawing a conceptual map, criticizing and engaging, the teacher supervises and encourages cooperative group learning techniques. At the end of the session, the teacher and students discuss the answers while eliminating obstacles and tackling misconceptions. The whole idea here is to avoid lecturing during the return session, but to implement active guided learning. Which brings us to the final step of the remote flipped classroom, that's the synthesis phase, where teachers summarize the main ideas discovered and explain the objectives related to the lesson on presentation platforms in a fun and creative way. In order to set the main concepts and ideas and to correct the students' work. Happy flipped classroom teaching online.